Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown with Sam Men's Comics, and this is the first three up, three down of 2021. I hope each and every one of you guys had a very Merry Christmas, had a great New Year, got well rested. I know I got well rested, enjoyed some good time off, enjoyed some time with my family, enjoyed the holidays, loved watching my kids open up all those presents. But now it's time to get back to the fun of creating these great videos. That's right, this is that three up, three down. Now, if this is your first time on this channel, I do a lot of comic book, pop culture related videos, so please consider subscribing. We're gonna cover three up trends and three down trends in the comic community, starting with those three up trends. And the first one we got this week, it seems like every time the new season drops on Netflix, was on YouTube before that, but the books start catching heat also. And we are talking about Cobra Kai. Right now, Cobra Kai is hot all over pop culture. It's great to see that nostalgia. I'm a big 80s kid, so we always talk about how great the 80s are, and now that younger generation is seeing it. We're seeing the that one in 10 incentive selling for like $75. You're also seeing that one in 10 NES 8-bit selling for like $80. You're seeing those New York Comic Con variants selling for like $400 raw, and you're also seeing a number four one in 10 selling for $50. Cobra Kai Weathers comic books, you're seeing those reaction figures everywhere. Entertainment Earth, one of the biggest websites for selling toys and collectibles. Cobra Kai, Karate Kid, everyone's selling it right now, and it's great to see the 80s franchise thriving. The next one I want to talk about that's also on the upper trend. We've talked about this for a while. I wanted to say, hey, Darth Maul, but the truth of the matter is Star Wars right now is still hot as ever. We just finished Mandalorian season two. We got that great teaser scene at the end. I mean, we're past the spoiler warning on that, right? We got that great Boba Fett teaser. We get in a Boba Fett series that's going to go along with Mandalorian. A lot of people thought, hey, Mandalorians is done. We're just going to get Boba Fett. Not so fast. We are actually getting a Mandalorian season three and that Boba Fett series and a bunch of other Star Wars. No doubt, Star Wars still hot. Darth Maul is hot. You're getting issues from Darth Maul. I think that carries over also to the other characters, whether it's Mace Windu, Cad Bane, some of those great first appearances, some of those great covers. We're even seeing Darth Maul trade paperbacks. They're escalated in price right now. On top of that, Dr. Aphra has been taken off. You're seeing sales. Those books still continue to rise. And then, just this week, we got the release of High Republic, as well as that Charles Soule novel. A lot of talk about that. So no doubt, Star Wars continues to be hot and buzzworthy. Then the last one I want to talk about for up this week, we got Yara Flora. That's right, DC Future State Wonder Woman. Whether it's the first issue of that Future State Wonder Woman issue with Yara Flora, or you got that Dark Knight's Death Metal number seven that had a cameo. Whether it's the first issue of that Future State Wonder Woman with Yara Flora, or you get that Dark Knight's Death Metal cameo. A lot of buzz around Yara Flora right now. I'm excited about Future State. Talked about a lot on this channel. Always great to see new characters and where that DC universe is going. Also in that Dark Knight's Metal, you've seen some talk about, hey, there's this else world. And then there's still the rumor buzz of, is DC Comics going to continue to publish their books? We'll have to wait and see on that. Which this brings us to a great transition of the downward trends for this week. Now, a lot of times when we talk about these downward trends, we mention great buying opportunities. And I think this first one is a great one. This was also a pick from the Simple Man's Comics Patreon Discord. But foreign variants, foreign variants, I wouldn't say they're down, but I just think they're they're not as noticed. A lot of people right now are chasing the later printings, a lot of other shiny objects. But foreign variants right now, I still don't think they get the credit that they deserve. There's a lot of books out there. I myself have been novice at it. I've, I've picked up books that I've, that I've known from franchises that I like. I tend to collect He-Man, Master of the Universe, foreign variants, but there's a great market out there. I, I will be honest, just like, and, and I'm not that well versed in it. I would, if you want to know more about foreign variants, I would check out the Tales from Flipside channel right here on YouTube, and make sure you check out that Global Comic Safari playlist on that channel. John and Matt always talking about foreign variants, a lot of wealth of information. I mean, you'd be surprised the stuff that's out there, and you'd be surprised at how hard some of those books are to find, and what some of them go for. I know it's kind of an oxymoron saying, "Hey, it's down," but. Really, I just think it's underappreciated, and that's why I have it on the list. Also, in addition to Tales from the Flipside channel, make sure you guys follow Rob's Comics 81 on Instagram. He's another one, Patreon member. He's the one that's in the Discord, always showing some great foreign variant covers. So if you're interested in no more, follow him as well. Next on the downward trend, we talked about how hot Star Wars is, and this is always that great fanboy fight, but Star Wars is hot. Star Trek is down. It seems like no matter what movie comes out, Star Trek comics just aren't doing much. 
There's a lot of fans out there and they love to collect those Star Trek comics. And no doubt, I respect that, but they just don't seem to be as popular right now. Now those gold key, those older gold key comics, they're always great ones to pick up and they go for a great amount of money. But Star Trek in general, compared to Star Wars, is down and it's always great to compare and contrast those two fandoms in the same video. Which leads me to the last one on the downward trend this week. I'm gonna talk about the DCEU. That's right, we had Wonder Woman 84 hit HBO Max and the movie theaters at the same time over Christmas day. Mixed opinions, my opinion, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. I, I, I thought it was Mandalorian as a genie. And then at the top of it, at the end of the movie, the consequence, there wasn't a consequence. I'm just gonna take my wish back. This was my dream, my wish. So I'm taking it back. Ha. The end. <laughs> I don't know if people are gonna comment like you totally missed the point, but that's how I saw it. And then to top it all off, Liam Sharp, one of the creators of Cheetah, wasn't even recognized in the credits. It's in the article out there. Patty Jenkins had to go and apologize to Liam Sharp for his name not being mentioned in the credits with other creators in the film. It's kind of on par for what the DCU's been. I enjoyed Aquaman. I enjoyed Shazam. I've enjoyed a lot of the other movies just to watch, but let's be honest, MCU to me has been way better at it than the DCEU. But I still give DC the edge for animated movies. Their animated movies are way better than Marvel's animated movies. So there it is guys, there's the first three up, three down for 2021. But before I go, there's one more thing that I kind of consider up. It's a personal up for me and I just received in the mail, my Drew Zucker Canto Simple Man's Comics Commission. I love this thing. Talk about how much of a fan of Canto we are on this channel. Um, I don't think I touch Lala Schultze, who's like probably the biggest Canto fan, but I'm still a huge fan. Love Drew Zucker, love the Arthur David Boer, fantastic. And I'll put the link on the screen right now. If you're interested in a commission from Drew Zucker, which is very affordable, by the way, from a fantastic artist, you guys can go there and sign up now. He's doing commissions, commission list is open. I'm glad to get Canto and that Simple Man's Comics logo up on there. I'm gonna get a frame for it. It's gonna be put up on the wall. Might even be put up behind here to so see in all the other videos. But with that being said, also make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys think is up. What do you think is down right now in the comic book community? This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys in the next video.